All right, guys, here we are with a seven month transformation video. For this video, I'm going to talk about <coughs> all the enhancements. I've done a lot of thinking on it, and I've decided that me building this muscle and talking about it and not talking about the enhancements would be like a fat person losing weight and not talking about what they eat. And to be honest, this seven month transformation, the only thing that was different is the enhancements I was using. So really the training, the diet, rest, uh, training intensity, frequency, all that stuff pretty much stayed the same. So the enhancements was really the only thing that did change. So anyways, it's pretty important part of the process. So I'm going to go ahead and tell exactly what I've done over these past seven months. So here we go. On uh, January 1st, or January 5th, I was 205 pounds. This is me right here, looking pretty fat. At this point, I had about a year of working out in. On the 29th of that month, 24 days after this picture, I started the TRT. So on January 29th, I started the TRT at 200 milligrams testosterone cypionate. I was doing that 100 on Tuesday and 100 on Friday. Along with that, I was when I started the TRT for the 90 days, I did it I did it for 90 days. Within that 90 days, I also was taking Armor Thyroid. It's a tablet, a thyroid pill, 60 milligrams a day. So I started a TRT January 29th. I did 200 milligrams for the first 4 weeks. Then when I went for my monthly checkup, they upped it to 220 milligrams. We kept the uh, testosterone at 220 milligrams for the duration up until April 26th. So from January 29th until April 26th, I was on, let's just say, 220 milligrams of testosterone and 60 milligrams a day of the Armour thyroid pill. And then here's a picture of me. I just kind of threw this in here because I don't have great poses, so I just kind of do that. And that's going to be, I can compare that to my, the last picture also. Because in my last picture, I'm kind of posing like that rather than uh, just standing there like in my first picture. All right, so we took the uh, TRT dose. Here I am a month later flexing my arm. I've been taking the TRT for a month, showing off my gains. Here I am with that signature pose exactly a month later february 29th all right and then here is 417 this is nine days before i quit the trt all right now here's where things got different when i quit the trt on uh 426 april 26th i upped my dose to 360 milligrams i was on 220 up until that point, I upped it to 360 milligrams. All right, so I did that until June 27th. So I was on 360 milligrams of test sip. It was uh, 180 on uh, Tuesday and Friday is how I was doing it. 180 milligrams Tuesday, 180 milligrams Friday. Now within that period of time, I did D-ball for 50 days. On May 23rd, I started the D ball for the first seven days. I did 25 milligrams a day for the first week. I did it for seven weeks for 50 days. After that first week, I upped it to 50 milligrams a day. And I did that for five more weeks, 50 milligrams a day for five weeks. And then that last week, I lowered it back down to 25. Now, I lowered it down to 25 on July 3rd because I quit taking it July 10th. Now, before I lowered it down on June 27th is when I added in the trend. So when I added in the trend, at that point, I had been on the 360 milligrams of test sip. So I just did that from April when I quit the TRT up until June 27th. And then at that point on June 27th, I lowered the testosterone to 300 milligrams a week and I added in 300 milligrams of trend also. 
And the way I was doing that was I was mixing a hundred with each. I was mixing a hundred test and a hundred trend. And but I was doing trend ace and most people do it every other day. I didn't want to do it that much. So what I did was I did I mixed it with a test probe and I did that a hundred of each. I did it on Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. But that Friday dose, I was I was still using test sip, the longer ester, so I wouldn't just so I I wanted to try to keep my levels kind of the same, so that's just how I did it, and then I did the uh, 100 milligrams of test mixed with 100 milligrams of trend Monday, Wednesday, and Friday from June 27th, and I'm still currently doing that. But the only difference is I'm just doing the test probe now. I took the sip out. I was doing the sip on Friday, a Monday, Wednesday, Friday dose. I was doing using sip on Friday for the first four weeks, and then I just took that out. So now I'm doing 100 of each test uh, probe and trinase Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. That's what I'm doing right now, and that's where I'm currently at with it. I have three more weeks <laughs> and then I'm done with the trend. So let's see here. Yeah, so here we go. Here's the picture. That was actually the first day right here that I added the trend in. So I dropped my test from 360 down to uh, 300 and added 300 trend. All right. That was the day I did that right there. And I was already getting veins. So I was getting veins in my traps and that. It looked like I'm trying to take a shit. And then here we are two weeks later after adding in that trend to it and man my shoulders were popping look at them caps so that looks pretty good i'm squeezing bow and then here we go here here's a picture right here of me this was a long time ago this was after i lost my gains i got three and a half years worth of gains in early 2000 from like 2000 until 2004 and then i quit lifting 2004 and I went down and I was in Texas doing lawn care in 2005. And I went down there, I weighed 225 pounds. And right here, look at this picture, 427 of 06. I went down there in August of 2005. So I had been down there for eight months at this time right here and lost all my gains. I was out there mowing, I couldn't eat. I was just drinking, drinking, drinking lemonade. 64 ounces at a time probably 10 times a day as hot as hell out there mowing lost all my gains so i wanted to show that and plus i still got Bo. he's like 11 pushing 12 years now so there we go at uh two weeks after i've added that trend in there and then here we go a month look at my forearms this is a month after i added that trend in there and on this day right here the old lady made a pot roast so you know how when you eat something real hot fast and it just fills your belly and it's like an oven and then you just break out in sweats i ate a big ass bowl of this pot roast <laughs> man my veins just exploded look at my veins they they look like that right now if i get pumped but that was when i started really seeing i think i started really seeing them veins coming in and then on the first of this month, here we go. Here's what I'm looking like right here on the first of the month. That's probably the best. That's that's 218 pounds. So let's show, let's go ahead and look at this before and after picture. Here's the before and after. And I went from 205 pounds to 218. So I gained 13 pounds. And obviously, well, you can see that I'm not flexing in that first picture. So I'm just showing, letting old gut hang out, looking flabby. But even though, like, you can still tell that I lost fat and gained weight. So that must mean I lost fat and built muscle at the same time. So, but then I'm going to go ahead and take that first picture I was talking about for that signature pose and put it beside this picture to get a little bit better of a comparison for a similar pose. So there it is. That's what happened. That's what I did exactly. Seven months enhanced transformation. And I, I got three more weeks.
to do this trend and then I'm not doing it no more. And I'm going to stop, just take the trend out, and then I'm going back on the test sip. I'm going to throw some probe in there until I get my sip ester shit caught up to where I'm not just going to stop doing the probe all at once and then just switch it to sip because that sip has that longer, like, two-week ester or whatever it is. So there will be a little bit of a crash there between the time I quit the probe and then the sip starts to kick in. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the trend out and I'm on 300 tests, 300 trends. So I'm going to take that trend out and then up that test to 500. And I want to start doing it 250 because I don't like poking myself Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. I'm just going to do it on Tuesday and Friday again. But to start it off, I'm going to go... I'm going to add some prop in there. So I'll probably just do the sip on uh, Monday and then do some uh, sip and prop mixed on uh, Tuesday and Friday for like the first couple of weeks and then just take the uh, prop out completely and then just do 250 sip on Tuesday and Friday. And I'm just going to do 500 tests a week for... Uh, I don't know, a good period of time. Basically, it's kind of like just going back on a little bit higher than a TRT dose and letting that train clean out and that. And I'm going to probably do that for about three or four months. And then I'm going to add in the D-ball again. I'm going to do another 50 days of that D-ball. And uh, I'm going to try to bulk up and, and get on up to about 240 pounds over the winter. I'm going to add that D-ball back in there, and I'm going to maybe add in that, that Anadrol, too. I don't know. i got to think about how I'm going to do it. So, but the, the thing about that is, like, I'm probably always at this point, because I went to the doctor, and they told me my test levels were low enough to need TRT. So I understand that at this point, I'm just going to constantly be basically on test for life, you know? So it's just slow motion with it. Like, I'm not in a hurry. I'm not doing no damn three grams a week. None of that. Like, I plan on my test never getting over 500 a week. But then I'm going to add in some stuff, too, though, like some trend and Anadrol and D-ball, you know. So, but not big doses. Not big doses. Just uh, what I have already done. I might do a little bit more trend. But I ain't doing no more of that D-ball because that shit has the bad water retention side effect to it. One day I looked down and I couldn't see my damn feet. The, I, I, <laughs> I couldn't see the blood veins in my feet. And my, I've always had visible blood veins in my feet. So I didn't like that about it. So I'm not going to try to do more of that. I'll just do what I did again for 50 days. So that's what's up. That's where I'm at. Seven months transformation, enhanced transformation. Like I said... I couldn't talk about building this muscle and, and leave that part out of it. So that's where I got with it, and that's what I did.